In my last file video, I showed you how to set up your file train to lay a track and then how to upgrade that to lay track in both directions along with defences like this. It has come to my attention that there are a couple of things I missed out though, so let's take another dive into the fully automated rail layer. Welcome to Lawrence Plays Factoria. Let's first take a look at the biter in the room. Farl is fantastic at zipping across empty landscapes, laying down track, but as soon as you run into a biter nest, you'll come to a very abrupt stop. The lasers you've laid will all be off to the sides and so not be very effective against the flurry of biters, and you'll quickly need to retreat. My answer to this is to combine artillery and a slightly more careful approach. If you want to be cautious, create a second train as an artillery train. Advance the file train as normal, but when you see a biter nest in your path, stop and build a defensive end cap on your track like this. If you've got a blueprint for it, you can just slap it in place and your bots will build the whole thing in a couple of seconds. You can then remotely tell the artillery train to advance until it's in range of the nest and it will automatically then pummel it to death. Depending on your research level and the biter evolution level, you might want to put in multiple layers of turrets here. Deconstruct the end cap and repeat. The less cautious approach is exactly the same, except you have the artillery train attached to the back of your file tray. This means you don't have to worry about advancing it manually. But you do have to be very quick in deploying the end cap blueprint when you stop, as the artillery will immediately start to fire. The hardest part of this method is actually stopping your train in time when you see biters in front of you. So either put down radars so you can see a bit further ahead, or advance a little bit more slowly than I'm doing here. Another neat trick is to lob an artillery shell as far forwards as you can with the remote, so it scans the landscape underneath it and shows you any nests you're going to run into. It's also worth going relatively gradually and clearing out biters inside artillery range as you go, otherwise you can attract rather a lot of biters at the same time, and then things may go badly. Unfortunately, this approach rather breaks the charging across the landscape feeling you get without the biters, but it will help keep you alive and it's still much, much faster than any kind of manual building. Perhaps this is best used on rail worlds. The second consideration is what to do when you don't just want to lay straight track, whether that means corners or junctions. Farl is straight up bad at neatly doing corners. Even if you slow down, you'll still find that the walls don't meet up nicely and you'll have to do so much tidying up, I'm not convinced it's worth it. Instead, just assume that you'll be laying long straight rails as much as possible, but also have a blueprint of a four-way junction available, and maybe one of a corner as well. When you want to add a corner or a junction, just come to a stop, drop the blueprint down and let your bots build it. You can then get back in the file train, and then choose which direction you want to continue in. There might still be a little bit of tidying between the blueprinted rail and the new file laid rail, and you might have to stop and restart the file at least once to get it to start laying properly, but it's still better than the alternative. Incidentally, a good way to prevent the can't place pole error is to ensure there's a little bit of rail sticking out past the lasers and walls before you start the file going again. This seems to help it get started, although you may still have to fix the pylons. With these two extra considerations, you should find that you could easily build your rails out, even if you have to deal with biters, or worse, corners. I hope that's been useful, and as ever, please let me know if you have any requests for other tutorials, and I'll see you next week for the streams. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.